On the 3rd of August, 2019, the skies above Aktubinsk's Chkalov State Flight Test Center witnessed a pivotal moment in Russian military aviation. The Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B, Russia's premier stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle, lifted off the tarmac for its maiden flight, reaching an altitude of 600 meters and sustaining controlled flight for approximately 20 minutes. This milestone marked the culmination of nearly a decade of intensive development and positioned Russia firmly in the global UCAV arms race. The genesis of the Okotnik, meaning hunter in Russian, can be traced to 2011, when the Russian Ministry of Defense, recognizing the shifting paradigm in aerial warfare, commissioned Sukhoi to develop a heavy unmanned combat platform. This directive didn't materialize in isolation. It leveraged critical insights from the earlier Mikoyan SCAT UCAV program, which had established the fundamental architecture for Russia's unmanned combat initiatives. By 2014, the first ground test mock-up emerged from Sukhoi's design bureau, demonstrating Russia's commitment to unmanned systems in contested aerial environments. The prototype's public unveiling in July 2017 revealed the S-70's distinctive flying wing configuration a design choice that optimizes both aerodynamic efficiency and stealth characteristics. This configuration, devoid of vertical control surfaces, presents a significantly reduced radar cross-section when compared to conventional airframe geometry. Tests validated the platform's autonomous navigation systems and ground-based control interfaces, critical components for a next-generation combat drone. The S-70's airframe represents a departure from traditional Russian aircraft design philosophy. Measuring approximately 14 meters in length with a wingspan of 20 meters, the UCAV incorporates advanced composite materials and radar-absorbent coatings to minimize its electromagnetic signature across multiple frequency bands. The flying wing design not only reduces radar reflectivity, but also maximizes internal volume for fuel and munitions, enhancing both stealth and operational range. At the heart of the Okotnik B lies the Saturn AL-31F turbofan engine, the same power plant utilized in the Su-27 fighter family. This proven propulsion system generates 123 kilonewtons of thrust and cruising altitude. While this places the UCAV firmly in the subsonic regime, it aligns with the platform's primary mission profile of stealthy penetration rather than supersonic interception. With a maximum takeoff weight approaching 20,000 kilograms, the S-70 represents one of the heaviest operational UCAVs globally. This substantial mass accommodates an impressive payload capacity of 2,000 kilograms, housed within internal weapon bays to preserve the aircraft's stealth characteristics. The munition suite includes the precision-guided KAB-500 SE bombs, providing the UCAV with significant standoff attack capabilities against both stationary and mobile targets. The platform integrates synthetic aperture radar, SA, independent of ground control, this sensor fusion approach allows the S-70 to detect, classify, and engage adversary assets across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radar emissions to thermal signatures. The development of the S-70 reflects Russia's strategic response to similar programs underway in the United States, China, and Europe. The platform competes directly with the American Northrop Grumman X negative 47B, the Chinese AVIC 601S Sharpsword, and the European Dassault Neuron. Though each system embodies different operational priorities and technological approaches, the Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B represents a quantum leap in Russia's unmanned aerial warfare capabilities, operating at the nexus of intelligence collection, electronic warfare, and precision strike missions. With a combat radius exceeding 3,000 kilometers and an operational ceiling of 12,000 meters, passively map enemy electromagnetic emissions, identifying radar sites, communication nodes, and command center and counterparts, the S-70 remains vulnerable to advanced infrared search and track, IRST systems and heat-seeking missiles, particularly during high-power operations. The S-70's computational core integrates indigenous processors developed under Russia's Microelectronics Sovereignty Initiative, these systems, while less advanced than comparable Western hardware in terms of transistor density and power efficiency, incorporate hardening against electromagnetic pulse, EMP effects, and cyber intrusion reflecting Russia's emphasis on resilience in contested electromagnetic environments. The UCAV's machine learning algorithms for target identification have been trained on extensive datasets of NATO and allied military equipment, 
optimizing the platform for operations against Western adversaries. The S-Negative 70's integration with the Su-Negative 57 fifth-generation fighter through secure data links allows it to operate as a forward sensor node and weapons delivery platform, extending the effective range of the Su-Negative 57's radar and weapon systems. The Su-Negative 57 pilot can direct the UCAV to investigate potential threats, designate targets for engagement, or position the drone to relay communications in electromagnetically contested environments. This multiplier effect enables a single SU-57 to control multiple battle space domains simultaneously, wherein multiple UCAVs operate in conjunction with manned aircraft. In this scenario, a formation of Okotnik Bs could autonomously execute suppression of enemy air defenses missions ahead of manned strike packages, neutralizing surface-to-air missile systems and radar installations to create safe corridors for subsequent waves of attack aircraft. Alternatively, the S-70S could function as decoys, saturating enemy air defenses and forcing them to expend interceptors against unmanned platforms while preserving the combat effectiveness of manned assets. The autonomous capabilities of the Okotnik B represent significant advancements in Russian artificial intelligence applications for military system. The UCAV incorporates deep learning algorithms for target recognition, enabling it to distinguish between military, civilian infrastructure with high confidence levels. Additionally, the platform features autonomous navigation systems capable of adapting to GPS-denied environments through terrain recognition and stellar navigation. These capabilities allow the S-70 to execute complex mission profiles with minimal human intervention, reducing the vulnerability to communication jamming or satellite degradation. The operational history of the S-70 remains largely classified, though intelligence sources indicate limited deployments in combat theaters. In October 2024, reports emerged of an S-70 being deliberately downed by a Russian Su-57 near Kostyantinivka, Ukraine, after the UCAV lost contact with ground controllers. This incident, if confirmed, would represent the first combat loss of an Okhotnik B and raises questions about the platform's electronic hardening against adversary countermeasures. Ukrainian forces reportedly recovered fragments of the wreckage, potentially providing NATO with valuable intelligence regarding Russian stealth technology and autonomous systems. The production timeline for the S-70 suggests an initial operational capability IOC, by late 2025 with full operational capability FOC, anticipated by 2027. Russian defense officials have indicated plans to procure approximately 20 Okotnik BU cabs for the initial production run, with options for additional platforms based on operational performance and evolving threat environments. The Novosibirsk Chkalov Aviation Plant, designated as the primary production facility, has undergone significant modernization to accommodate. Export variants of the S-70 remain theoretical at present, though Russia's traditional defense partners, particularly India, have expressed interest in acquiring the platform. Any export version would likely incorporate downgraded sensor and data link capabilities to preserve key technological advantages for the Russian aerospace forces, similar to export strategies employed with manned combat aircraft like the Su-30 and Su-35 series. The S-70 Okotnik B embodies Russia's determination to maintain strategic parity in next-generation aerial warfare despite economic and technological constraints. By leveraging existing propulsion technology, prioritizing stealth characteristics most relevant to its operational environment, and emphasizing integration with manned assets, Russia has developed a formidable unmanned combat system that, while not without compromises, significantly enhances its aerospace capabilities against peer and near-peer adversaries.